Uh, my name is Hamza Mehdi. I'm uh, 32 years old. Uh, I'm five, six and a half. Uh, today I was 194 pounds. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what show are you doing, Mark? You're doing the Arnold? Yes, amateur? I'm doing the Arnold Amateur March 2nd. Okay, so you said you're three and a half weeks there, right? Yep, three weeks and a half, yeah. Awesome. Okay, and what was the last show you did? The last show I did was the Olympia Amateur. Okay. Uh, 2021. 20, yeah. How'd that go? That's... It didn't go as well. Uh, I, like, I was burned out. Like, I did the North Americans before. And I did the NPC Ironman, but it was a good show. Yeah, like I didn't place where I wanted to, but overall, and there was a little bit of chunk of time in between, right? Like yeah, it was like six weeks, four weeks. So I, I was dying for over 20 weeks, and I was just burned out mentally. I wasn't there for the last show, but North Americans was my best showing. Yeah. I placed ninth out of 42 people. Awesome. So, so it was. It's not as Good to say, place ninth, but when it that was many people, yes, and you're, and you're talking yes. about the best from every show. Yeah, so yeah. Like that was my best show. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, very cool. Um, so you're doing that show. What was what's your prep and diet been like leading up to the Arnold as opposed to your other shows? But this Arnold um, was basically like just like a shotgun. You know, like I wasn't ready mentally to like prep for it but it just made sense because I have a wedding coming in October uh, it was a lot closer to me uh, I didn't have to qualify I have my qualification was still working from last show uh, it just made sense financially and time wise so that's why you didn't I'm have to fly. It's right yeah here. I didn't have to fly and I always go watch the Arnold and get the hotel and stuff so I may as well just did it throw you by because it was on and then it was off for like a week? Yes, was... yes. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, they canceled the show, but I kept going. But my intentions were not there when they canceled the show. I was like, all right, I'm just like prepping. I'm just like trying to get lean so I can start off season leaner and healthier. But then they brought it back. So we like, uh, we had to like go a little hard to make it. Me and my coach, Scott McNally, he's helping me. I've been working with him for two years now. Yeah, he's the best. Awesome guy, he's a real nice guy, he knows his stuff. Uh, yeah, very awesome guy. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Um, so that was cool, and you kind of had a weird off season, right? Because, um, which you, I know you said it was kind of disappointing because you felt like your training fell behind, but you went back home to Morocco and visited your family and stuff, right? Yeah, I went back home to Morocco. Uh, I've been there for like, uh, the whole trip was like three weeks. Uh, I didn't train. I didn't like eat like my uh, so I basically took like some time off and that time off when I came back I lost like 12 pounds so I was kind of lighter that kind of like motivated me to like do the Arnold so I was like well I'm in a leaner spot let's do the Arnold because it was like 12 weeks yeah but then thing did not progress as I thought like my body like shed some weight before then like it was it slowed down you know yeah it just wasn't it was being stubborn it, yeah i thought like oh i'm lean i'm a little leaner than before because i lost the bloat you know and then like we start doing things and things were just not falling into place so like six weeks out we had to crank it yeah how long have you been um training about everything now uh, it's coming to 15 years now. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say, I know you started young. So. Yeah, I started at 18. Uh, I did my first show at 18. Uh, yeah, and I've been competing since. I might have took like a year off every now and then, but yeah. So, what's your diet been like leading into the show as opposed to some your other ones? Well, this diet, like. Like I've been uh, on zero carbs for like a week now, a little over a week. Yeah. And before that, we were in like a, a cup of rice, like <laughs> just before training. So I've been doing that for like two weeks and days off, zero carbs. Yeah, so now like we're on zero carbs and things are going, like I'm moving. 
It was uh, just like, yeah, probably less food because they're, it's a little more hardcore trying to eat out yes, quicker. Yeah. yeah, we have to like crank everything up, like cardio, like, and my body actually responds to that. I don't do really well on long preps, like 12 weeks, just torture me as much as you can, I can handle that. When it gets longer, I uh, like my mentally, I don't, you know, I kind of lose it. Yeah. I got you. Um, so what about your workout today? Do you want to take, briefly take us through that, bud? And, um, yeah. Are these movements you normally do and stuff? Or? Yeah, we did uh, a push day. It's uh, like shoulders dominated, so I have two push days. One, like I do a lot of chest movement and then I touch some shoulders. Today, like we did shoulders and we touched some chests just mm. to get that blood flow. Uh, yeah, we started like since energy is down a little bit, we just warmed up and we went ahead and did some compound movements, some shoulder dumbbell shoulder presses. Uh, we worked up to like a working set with the hundreds and then like, we went down like a back offset. Then we went and did another machine press and we did some side laddles. Uh, we worked on some rear delts, like two movement each. And then like we did uh, some cable flies, mm -hmm. just put some blood in the chest. And we did one push movement for the chest, just lights and just focusing on squeezing. Yeah, just to keep that blood flowing there as well. Now, yeah. when do you normally throw your arms in, bud, for a push? I, uh, yeah, sometimes I put one movement for triceps with push days, but I still have like a one arm day. Oh. Like I do like one arm day. The energy is low, so we're just trying to like keep that, you know, uh, I don't want to push myself too much when I don't recover. My triceps is so twitching. <laughs> yeah. Like I've been taking magnesium and stuff to kind of cool down, to cool that area. But you know, so just it's a little too much. So I'm trying like to just balance. Yeah, to keep it symmetrical. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I got you. That makes sense. But um, and how do you said you're doing more cardio? What's your cardio at right now? Though? My cardio is 70 minutes a day. Okay. Yeah, which is it's a lot than last prep. But I've, I've done the two hour cardio. What do you do for your cardio? Uh, I do a treadmill, okay. like in the morning, and I do a Stepmaster uh, after training. Okay, so you do like half an hour? You know, uh, I do like, I like to do like 40 minutes, 45 minutes in the morning, and I do like 25, or sometimes I just split 35, 35, or yeah. Good night, yeah. What's, uh, just for people who, in your other videos, we kind of go in depth about uh, how you start and bodybuilding and stuff, but, but what would you say the main, like, going back over there now and stuff, uh, the differences between, like, bodybuilding in the United States or bodybuilding in Morocco, what's like there as opposed to here? Like, uh, the difference is, like, um, in Morocco, it, there's less competitors and most of them kind of go out of the country, mm -hmm. but they still go back and compete in Morocco because there is a lot of shows for amateurs and they get paid, you oh, know? They win money over there, right? Yeah, yeah. they win money and like even like men's physique guys, they win $3,000, $5,000, which is here, like even pro shows. Yeah, that's don't like make some that. of the pros win. Yes, yeah. yeah, so and there's not a lot of entry fees. My, you know, I used to compete. I just go and compete. I didn't have to pay any federation or like entry fee. Mm -hmm. I just go compete and the, the least I can come back with is like a tub of protein or something, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like even if I don't place good. It was, it was really, it's really good there. I thought like when I come here, like things are just gonna be like, oh, it's America, like. 10 times bigger. 10 times bigger, 10 times better. But honestly, it's a lot better there. But the gyms here are like much better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool, man. Yeah, it's yeah. different. I used to like that, the Arnold talking and working with all the different athletes from Germany and Austria. You know, even some guys from China and all over the place. It's neat to see different experiences, how it is worldwide. Yeah, it, it's more of a, it's more respected sports in Morocco, you know, yeah. like, and I know like not just in Morocco, all over the con uh, other uh, countries, mm -hmm. like, uh, it's just like, they treat you like a football player here, like a basketball player, like, you get a lot of respect. All the pros, like, um, like, 
like when Hadi went home after the Olympia, dude, there was yeah. like I have a he statue like a, of him. He was like a hero coming back. Yeah, yeah Rami awesome. plays fifth, and like people in the airport waiting for him. Like he won ten times, Mr. Olympia. You know, it's yeah. that's how they treat people there. Yeah. 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 yeah not. Nah. <laughs> so it's the same treatment here. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> here you gotta make it yourself. You gotta like do everything by yourself. Right? Yeah. 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 That's crazy, man. That's such a different thing. Um, so three and a half weeks out. That's amazing, man. And then you got another thing, like you said earlier, you're gonna be getting married this year. Yes, I'm getting married uh, in October 22nd. Um, yeah. I'm so Very happy. Cool. I'm already wearing the band. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Very yeah. cool. That's, that's a good time of year to get married, too. It's not super hot. Yeah, it's, it's going to be beautiful. And after that, hopefully, we will travel again to Morocco. Oh. Yeah, for our honeymoon. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Some of your family going to try and kind of, it's so far and expensive. Is anyone it is. Try? It is so far. I would like to bring my mom. Yeah. Uh, she can't fly by herself. Yeah. And so, it's, yeah. We yeah. might do a little celebration back there. Yeah. Okay. Very cool, man. Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. And uh, we'll try and get one more video on before the Arnold and stuff. Yes, but definitely. You look like you're yeah. coming along in definitely the last two weeks, just like night and yeah. day difference, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep grinding and uh, just same positive, and we're going to make it. People um, people or sponsors, what you'd like to thank or anything? Uh, I would like to thank my, uh, I, I would like to thank you. Oh, like for, one. no, like yeah. really, like I really appreciate it. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and like it's you know like it's uh it's something that I can always look back to you know like I know I'm not you know like a professional bodybuilder or big but this documents my journey in a professional way I really appreciate it yeah. and yeah and I would like to thank uh, my fiance Kara Kazmarek uh, my father-in-law Kevin Kazmarek I would like to thank uh, Dan from uh, First Fitness. Yeah. Uh, he's always been supporting uh, in West Branch. You know. I have to uh, check that gym out sometime. Yeah. yeah it's it's, it's an awesome gym, awesome environment. He's always welcoming. He treats athletes. He sponsors athletes. Like he's just like a very helpful person. I really appreciate him. Uh, my mother-in-law, my whole family here and in Morocco. Yeah, and I would like to thank my coach, Scott McNally, for yeah. all the help. He's been, you know, he's been very supportive, uh, very helpful. Yeah.